डीप सीक्स आर वन इज अ फर्स्ट जनरेशन रीजनिंग मॉडल ट्रेंड यूजिंग लार्ज स्केल री एनफोर्समेंट लर्निंग टू सॉल्व कॉम्प्लेक्स रीजनिंग टास्क अक्रॉस डोमेन सच एज मैथमेटिक्स कोडिंग एंड लैंग्वेज द सिक्स सेवेंटी वन बिलियन पैरामीटर डीप सी कार वन मॉडल कैन बी अ चैलेंज टू होस्ट इफ यूर ट्राइंग टू होस्ट इट यूजिंग अ सिस्टम एनवीडिया हैज समथिंग फॉर यू एनवीडिया हैज लॉन्च द डीप सीक आर वन निम माइक्रो सर्विस विच इज अवेलेबल टू हेल्प डेवलपर्स एक्सपेरिमेंट विद द मॉडल्स लॉजिक इन्फ्रेंस रीजनिंग मैथमेटिक्स कोडिंग एंड लैंग्वेज केपेबिलिटीज इफ आई गो बाई जस्ट द बेंच मार्क्स एंड इफ यू सी द मैथ फाइव हंड्रेड बेंच मार्क डीप सी कार वन इज द मॉडल दैट इज ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द चार्ट एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सो लेट्स पुट डीप सी कार वन टू टेस्ट ऑन अ वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स मैथमेटिकल टास्क एंड असेस हाउ गुड इट इज ऑन मैथमेटिकल टास्क यूजिंग एनवीडियाज नेम माइक्रो सर्विसेज सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी फर्दर टाइम लेट्स किक स्टार्ट द वीडियो इफ यू आर फ्रॉम इंडिया देन यू नो हाउ कॉम्प्लेक्स द आई आई टी जे ई एग्जाम इज To address this complexity, I'll be using Deep Sea Carvan to answer three mathematics question from last year's IIT JE question paper. So this question right here is the first question from last year's JE advanced paper. So the question goes like this: Let f of x be a continuously differentiable function on the interval of zero to infinity, and the entire question follows. And there are four options that I have. Now I want to see how good DeepSeek is able to solve this entire question, right? So now I'll go to the coding screen. I'll set up the entire Name microservice again. The good part about Name microservice is that it's OpenAI compatible. So whatever things that you have, so if there is code or logic that you've written using the OpenAI API, it's easily compatible with that. The only thing that changes is the URL. So let's go on to the coding section. I'm using Google Collab for this entire video so I'll kick start the coding section by installing the OpenAI package Once I've installed the OpenAI package I'll import OpenAI and I'll import user data from google.collab To access my Nvidia NIMS API key I'm using the google.collab user data secret Next up I create an OpenAI client and I save it into a variable client I set the base URL which, which is the Nvidia's Nim API URL and I pass in the API key. The next thing that I do is I create a function called get streaming response which accepts an input query. Then using the client.chatcompletion.create function, I pass in the model, I pass in the message, temperature, top p, max tokens etc and I set stream equal to true. for every chunk that i receive in the completion variable i kind of go ahead and print out the output that is generated let's now refer back to the question that i showed you so for this particular question given that there is a lot of mathematical terms that are involved i have used a latex version of this particular question and i save it into a variable called as question_1 now everything is ready what i'll do next is i'll call the function get underscore streaming underscore response and i'll pass in the first question and here is where our deep seek r1 model which is the entire 671 billion parameter model not the quantized version not the distilled version the actual version which is in its full glory is giving out this particular response so the response has been generated and let's validate whether this particular response is correct or not using an answer key so if you compare the answer key response as well as the response that is generated by deep seeks r1 model both of them are correct now let's move on to the second question that we have but hey wait before we move there there is a quick thing that i wanted to share across with all of you Nvidia's GTC conference is happening in 2025 between 17th to 21st March. What can you expect out of this conference? Well, there are over 1000 sessions that are planned. There are more than 300 exhibits and there are technical hands-on sessions. You can join in the entire GTC event virtually as well. I will add the registration link in the description section of the video. Do make it a point to join the GTC conference. Now, coming back to the second question that we have, 
this question is all about probability so a student appears for a quiz consisting of only true false type questions and answers all the questions the student knows the answers of some questions and guesses the answers for the remaining and then you have the entire questions with four answers now let's put this probability question to test using the deep sea car one model the process is still the same i've taken the question I've converted that into a latex compatible question. I've saved it into a variable called as question underscore two. And now I call the function get underscore streaming underscore response. And here is where DeepSeek's R1 model starts thinking and it tries to reason out and reach at the answer that we have. So finally, it is telling us that the answer is five by seven. Let's validate this using an answer key as well. Based on what I see, both the answers are correct. So again, DeepSeek's R1 is doing an amazing job. Let's move on to the next question. I want to try out one more complex question. And if you see how effortless the integration is, and if you see how amazing the response is, the entire responses are being generated very quickly. Again, if you look at the magnitude of how big the model is, it's technically taking no time to kind of give out the responses and the speed of the responses that are being generated is also amazing, right? So now let's put the deep seeks R1 model to test again. I pass in this complex question that you see here. This particular question, which looks very daunting, right? I pass in this particular question again, latex converted to this particular variable that is question underscore eight. And next up, I call the get underscore streaming underscore response function. Within a flash of a second, the response starts generating and the response is ready with us. It takes very little time. You have the entire reasoning based response available in a flash. This is the power of NVIDIA's NIM microservice coupled along with the current state of the art reasoning model that is DeepSeek's R1 model. Let's again validate this. I cannot live without validating how good the responses are. So this is the answer key. The answer in the answer key is eight. And the answer that has been generated by DeepSeek R1 is also eight. So technically DeepSeek R1 is a model that is giving us really correct responses for complex mathematical tasks. So if you are planning to create applications where there is a lot of reasoning involved, I believe you should strongly look at NVIDIA's NIM platform for creating the end-to-end -end solution. Make it a point to join NVIDIA's GTC conference and you will find the link in the description section of the video. Thank you so much for watching the video.